Hey, what's going on, guys? Jordan here with STL Living, also a St. Louis realtor. Uh, that being said, I'm going to show off Fenton, Missouri. So without further ado, let's get into it. So this gives you a rough idea of what it looks like whenever you initially get off the highway. There's a St. Louis bread company, also known as Panera Bread. Uh, there's a Dobbs, looks like a Deerberg's behind that, a bank, a McDonald's. This is Gravelway Bluff. This is kind of the suburban hub of Fenton. Got a lot going on over here, like a Lowe's, a Schnucks, a Kohl's, uh, Mercy Hospital for any of those in the medical field. So right over there, there's an Olive Garden, a Five Guys, a Skechers, a Michaels, a TJ Maxx, a Petco, a famous footwear. I don't know if this is mentioned earlier, but there's a Lowe's, also a Wing Stop. I always thought that place could either be called Wing Stop or Wing Start. You know what I mean? Like it, it's kind of the start of you getting wings. It's also the stop where you could stop by. So it could be Wing Start or Wing Stop. There's a Gorman's, an At Home, a Starbucks. Uh, I always question the ed, like the entertainment value of doing videos like this whenever I'm just kind of simply showing and stating the businesses in the area. But I mean, honestly, this this area is something I overlooked until I went away to college and I realized how many people live in Fenton and how nice of an area it really is. Uh, it's pretty, it's kind of on the outskirts, but it's also pretty conveniently located here in St. Louis. So right here in this parking lot, you got a Walmart and I'm gonna circle over to this area because Fenton has a lot of commercial buildings, especially down, down this way. Uh, there are a fair amount of commercial buildings, also kind of older town Fenton. There are a fair amount of businesses. One thing I didn't realize about Fenton until I started researching this area is how many corporate, like big businesses are here in Fenton. It's also not far from downtown, uh, at least not far in comparison to like St. Charles County. And it's also not too far from Clayton as well. So it, it, you, there's this is a good area for finding work. So there's a Merits, which seems to be what people talk about the most whenever they mention like Fenton and corporations. Uh, there's also a Chrysler plant in the area, which provides a lot of jobs. There's a Mercy SSM, I wanna say. I'm terrible with hospital names, but if you're in the medical field, there is opportunities for you here as well. Uh, first form is a really popular thing. I don't know if it's like a St. Louis thing or if it's like kind of, you know, nationwide, but Andy Frisilla actually started his uh, first form nutrition brand here. And uh, that's, a, that's a very common place. I know like four or five people that work there. It's a very, very well-known spot. His podcast is very well-known. Again, don't know if that's a St. Louis thing or, or uh, he's kind of like worldwide. Here's another beautiful view heading towards the highway away from Gravelway Bluff. There's the Fenton City Park right there and looks like a memorial for 9-11 or something related. So we're officially in Fenton Park and there's a baseball field, some basketball courts, some soccer fields, more softball, more baseball. This place, I will say, this is actually a pretty massive like recreational field. This is really big. This is probably twice the size of like what I'm used to seeing. This place is actually massive. I mean, it's probably because they're featuring multiple sports. So like within your, your niche or your sport, there's probably not like a ton, a ton to do, but no, this place is actually, I'm not even trying to sell anything. This place is huge. Yeah, I'd say about 30 acres. So bad, like I wish I could like look in an area and be like, yeah, it's like 15 acres. I have no idea, but it's big. It's big. I've been to a lot of sports complexes and this is on the bigger side. Another little view of the sports complex, soccer fields right there. Looks like baseball or softball right there, basketball right there. Grass is pretty well maintained, especially considering how much grass they have to cover. Uh, yeah, the area looks really nice. This is a very pretty park. So while we're on the topic of sports and recreational fields, Fenton also features probably the second best recreational soccer field in the uh, St. Louis area. So whenever I first got introduced to Fenton, I was only driving out here for soccer and then I realized how much this area actually offers. That being said, back in the day when I was playing soccer, Fenton probably had the number one fields, but uh, Creep Corps, Maryland Heights, I would I would give it to them now. They have an absolutely, they have two massive complexes. More views of the trails right next to the river. This is not advice, 
uh, this is more guidance and I don't know the legality of what I'm about to say, but I want to, I always want to serve my clients best as possible. There's a beautiful golf course. All the sports and activities are located right down here and they, they make it look good. So right here, this overpass is Highway 44. Fenton is located where, what is that? I think it's 270 and 44 meet. And then there are like two other highways that meet up there as well. Can't remember what, but this, if you take this going southwest, it takes you out to Springfield, Missouri, uh, about three hours away from here. So it says Worldwide Technology, One Soccer Park. I'm not sure actually if, uh, if Worldwide Technology is out here. I think that's out in... Maryland Heights. All right, so we're out at Soccer Park. This place has grown substantially since I was playing. Uh, that turf field was not there. This was new when I was playing, and that was like, that's the main field over there. Looks like they have another turf field back there. So, yeah, these turf fields, are, yeah, these fields and complexes are just getting insane around St. Louis. So yeah, here's just a better idea of some of the soccer complexes that St. Louis offers if you're into that sort of thing. So here we are pulled up at the first form building. Honestly, this place is massive. It's bigger than a Walmart. I'm not even gonna be able to see the end of it, but it looks like it's like three stories as well. I don't know if there's a basement in there, but it's a massive workout complex. And then I'm assuming a lot of, on the inside over there, there's also a lot of uh, corporate job opportunities as well. Uh, and I didn't realize this before pulling up, but behind this building is actually a commercial Amazon building as well. So again, Fenton has a lot more employment opportunities than you might think. That concludes the video. Hopefully that was a fun, fast, and informative video on Fenton. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch the video. Uh, that being said, as always, whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, I'm here to help you make a smooth move to St. Louis. Thank you.